Hello, hi everyone. So today we are going to uh, solve some different problem. Okay, different integral problem and using the substitution method. Okay, substitution means like we have to let something uh, x term into t and then we have to do differentiation and after the differentiation we can do the things. Okay, so what is the first problem I have listed over here? Okay, integration upper limit is to lower limit 0 e to the power x by 2 dx corrected here what we have to let let x by 2 is equal to t corrected then <coughs> that uh, 1 by 2 is equal to dt by dx corrected now dx is equal to dx is equal to 2 dt corrected so this much is okay now there is another things that we have to do now when x is equal to 0 then what is the value of t when x is equal to 0 the 0 by 2 is equal to 0 when x is equal to 2 then what is the value of t when 2 then t is value 2 by 2 is equal to 1 correct now here 2 is constant. We are putting out here 2 to 0 and e to power t dt. Correct. So here e to the power t you can write like this e to the power t 2 by 0. Okay. So 2 e to the power right. What is the value of t? Uh, here this is this is one correct this one is one here see when x is equal to two right when x is equal to two t is equal to one so here it is one and here it is one correct now two power e to power one and power zero so here two e minus this is e to power zero is one correct so this is answer e minus 1 2 into e minus 1 okay so here see this limit right putting this limit you have to take care so here this it was 2 to and 0 here it is 1 and 0 this question is in term of t here it, it is in term of x if it is in term of x okay no the limit was like this so here we are changing when x is equal to 0 then t is equal to 0. When x is equal to 2, then t is equal to 1. So here it is 1, here it is 0. So like that you have to do. Okay? I hope this is clear. Okay? So next problem. So next problem is question number two. Four and here two. Correct. And here x here one plus x square dx. Okay. So now here we we'll let one plus x square is equal to t. So it is two x dx is equal to dt. So 2 here we can write x x dx is equal to 1 by 2 dt. Now when x is equal to 2, when x is equal to 2, 2 to the power 2 means 4 plus 1, 5. Then t is equal to 5. When x is equal to 4, then t is equal to 17. 4 to the power square, 16 plus 1, 17. Correct? Now, we will do the substitution now. So, 1 by 2, we will keep outside. Correct? Now, this is dt. Now, it is t. To 1 by 2. And here, what we have to put in place of 2, 5. In place of 4, 17. Right, so log t 
थ्री सेवेंटीन फाइव तो वन बाई टू लॉग सेवेंटीन माइनस लॉग फाइव ओके सो दिस इज द आंसर और दिस इज द सॉल्यूशन फॉर दिस वन ओके होप दिस इज आल्सो क्लियर देर इज नो इश्यू राइट Okay, so now we'll do the another one. Okay, so another one is one and here zero. Cos inverse x dx. Okay. Now here let cos inverse x is equal to t, then cos t is equal to x. Correct. So now when x is equal to zero, then t is equal to what? When x is equal to zero and t is equal to so cos t is uh, sorry cos zero is pi by two. And when x is equal to one means cos uh, cos x is equal to like uh, cos one. Cos one when it will be when t is equal to zero means cos zero is equal to one. Correct. Now here we do the differentiation first, right? So it is cos t differentiation means minus sine t dt dx. Correct. Now here what we got pi by two and this is zero. Here sine t dt and cos inverse x is t, right? So this can be also written pi by two. Now this is zero, and this minus become plus and t sine t dt. Okay. So hope till here there is no issue, right? Now we know that by parts, integral by parts. So here that formula will be used. So it is something like t. Sin integration of sin x, which is cos t minus cos t, right? And here this will be zero pi by two minus dt by dt and integration of uh, sorry sin t. Integration of sin t dt again dt from here to here, and the here is limit zero pi by two. See this one when we will put that upper limit zero, correct? So it will become zero because here t zero into this one. When we will put the lower limit, the cos t cos pi by two itself is zero. So this solution of this term will be zero in any ways, putting the lower limit or upper limit. Now here, here this is zero pi by two. And dt is got to one aega. Now this one right is sine t. Ka ho kya ho jayega? Cos minus cos t. So minus this plus cos t dt, right? Now cos dt. Uh, um, what is that uh, um, integration of cos t? Cos t integration is sine t. Okay, you should know this. And here, this zero and pi by two. So sine pi by two, we can write zero. Zero minus sine pi by two. Correct. So sine uh, here, like sine pi by two minus. Uh, Mm. See here, we we have done some mistakes. If you see properly, here it was pi by two. See here it was in place of zero. Zero is pi by two, right? So here this is pi by two. 
here it will be 0 now from minus to plus when it, it became so here it will be 0 and here it will be uh, here it will be pi by 2 and here it will be 0 when your substitution okay when this minus right when you are ma making this minus to plus your limit should change okay so here again here also it will be pi by 2 uh, here this will be pi by 2 upper is pi by 2 right upper is pi by 2 and lower is 0 okay so similarly here also this uh, upper is pi by 2 and lower is 0 so this is fine now you understood see i did intentionally so that you should remember okay when this changes happened right when you are making to minus from minus to plus your limit should change got it so zero should come down and pi by two should go up okay from minus to plus so this happened here this happened so here when you put up upper limit pi by two so it will be uh, uh, zero only cos pi by two is zero and lower limit is, is when you put a t value is zero means multiplication of zero to something it will be zero so this is zero now here this is uh, pi by two and this is also zero correct now here this is pi by two this is zero so now it will be ulta pi by two minus zero so sin zero is zero sin pi by two is one so one minus zero is equal to one got it so here this is concept you have to remember how to change from minus to plus and when you are changing from minus to plus okay that thing you have to remember and when you are changing from like from x what was the lower limit what is going to up uh, lower limit for in the term of t what is the upper limit of x what is going to be upper limit in t term so those things you should remember you should understand how to make it up okay so answer over here is one of this problem okay i hope this makes sense okay Now fourth one, three and one, here cos log x y x dx. So here the related log x is equal to t. So one by x dx is equal to dt, correct? Now, when x, sorry, when x is equal to 1, what is the value of t, right? What is the value of t when x is equal to 1? When x is equal to 1, the value of t is equal to 0. You should remember this. So, value of t is 0. When x is equal to 3, then what is the value of t? It is a log 3. You can write. Okay. So now this. Now we can substitute here. So in place of 1, we can write 0. In place of 3, we can write log 3. Now here. Cos. Right. So cos uh, log x. Right. In place of log x, we can write t dt correct so this is very clear now till here any confusion any doubt i think no right so we can do for the cos t what is that uh, integration this is sin t and what is upper limit lower limit log 3 and here 0 okay so now this is sin log 3 minus sine 0 so sine 0 0 
सो आंसर ओवर हेयर इज साइन लॉग थ्री ओके सो दिस इज द सॉल्यूशन ओके आई होप दिस इज क्लियर राइट ओके विल डू द अनदर वन This is also very simple problem actually. We can let two x minus three is equal to t. So here two dx is equal to dt. Correct. So dx is equal to one by two dt. Correct. Now here, if x is equal to what? If x is equal to zero, then what is the value of t? When x is equal to zero, the value of t is minus three. When x is equal to one, then value of t is what? Value of t is x is equal to one. So two minus three means minus one. So here limit starts from zero. In place of zero, we can write minus three. I in place of one we can write minus one. Okay, and half constant over here. Okay, now dt, and we have let two x minus three is equal to t. Okay, so here one by two, and here log t, and here upper limit minus one, lower limit minus three. So here one by two log minus one minus log. Minus three, correct. So answer over here is minus log three, and here we can write half. Okay, so minus half log three is the answer for this problem. I hope this is clear. Now we'll do the last problem. Okay, so today we are going to solve only six problem for this uh, in in this session. Okay, so tomorrow we'll come we'll solve the another one. Another set of problem. Okay, uh, so sixth one is what one zero and two x one plus x square. Okay, dx. So here let one plus x square is equal to t. So two x dx is equal to dt. Correct. Now, what we have to do when x is equal to zero, what is the value of t? T is equal to one. When x is equal to one, what is the value of t? T is equal to two. Correct. So I hope there is no issue. So here one. In place of zero, we can write one. In place of one, we can write two. Correct. Now two x dx. Two x dx is there. So here dt by t. So it, again it is log log t and upper limit two, lower limit one. So log two minus log one. Log one we have told right. Log one is equal to zero. Remember this. So answer over here is log two. Okay. So solution for this is log two. Answer of this question is log two. Okay. So I hope uh, till this much is clear. Okay. So we'll meet again. Okay. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.